Acute myeloid leukemia, AML, is not a single disease. It's made up of many different types. Treatment is based on the specific type of AML, patient age and overall state of health. If you do not know what type of AML you have, make sure to ask your doctor. AML develops quickly, so your doctor will want to start your treatment as soon as possible after diagnosis. There are several treatment approaches for AML. These include the following. We're now going to go through each of these in more detail. Chemotherapy is the main treatment for most types of AML and is usually a combination of medicines which aim to target and kill the cancer cells. It's often split into two phases, induction and consolidation. The initial induction phase aims to eliminate all detectable cancerous cells. It's usually done with intensive chemotherapy and typically requires a patient to stay in hospital during treatment and after treatment as well. If the induction treatment was successful in eliminating all detectable leukemia cells, then a patient will typically receive consolidation treatment. This aims to clear any remaining undetected leukemia cells and prevent the leukemia from coming back. Chemotherapy is likely to cause a number of side effects, some of which go away once treatment is complete. The side effects can include the following. During chemotherapy, your doctor will monitor if the treatment is working, checking the results of blood tests and bone marrow biopsies. Stem cell transplantation. The aim of a stem cell transplant is to provide a new healthy supply of blood cells which can fight against and eliminate the last remaining abnormal leukemia cells. Therefore, patients will usually have had chemotherapy and possibly also radiotherapy before the transplant. It may be possible, depending on the type of AML, age and overall health, that the patient's own healthy stem cells can be harvested and frozen and then returned back to the patient. This procedure is known as autologous stem cell transplant. When healthy stem cells from someone else, a donor, are transferred to a patient, this is called allogeneic stem cell transplant. The donor cells need to match with the patient's cells, therefore it's often a sibling or close relative who donates their stem cells. There are also bone marrow registries in many countries which may identify an unrelated donor who is a suitable match. Targeted therapies. Targeted therapies are a group of drugs that are used either alongside chemotherapy or in patients for whom chemotherapy was not successful or suitable. Typically, these drugs target specific parts of the cancerous cells, inhibiting cell growth. Their design varies based on the type of AML and the affected genes. Some of these targeted therapies work in many types of AML, whereas others are specific. Therefore, it's important to know your type of AML in order to find out if any of these therapies may be suitable for you. Immunotherapy. This is another alternative treatment approach for AML. It uses the patient's own immune system to identify and attack the cancer cells. However, only a few treatments have been approved for the treatment of AML, such as antibody drug, conjugates and cytokine therapy. Other immunotherapy approaches such as chimeric antigen receptor CAR T-cells, checkpoint inhibitors and dendritic cell vaccination are still being tested in clinical trials. Supportive care. In addition to these treatment options for AML, supportive care consists of helping patients to manage both the symptoms of their condition and any side effects that may occur from treatment. Supportive care is tailored to each patient's needs and may include medication, blood product transfusions, nutritional changes, relaxation techniques and emotional support. Clinical trials. More and more new treatment options are being researched and discovered for specific types of AML. They may not have been approved for the treatment of AML. However, your doctor may suggest you consider a clinical trial that is exploring a treatment for your specific type of AML. Our goal is to facilitate and improve AML knowledge worldwide. Now that you understand the treatment approaches to AML, why not learn more about clinical trials and the importance of research? www.no-aml.com Hashtag NoAML